again. I have run out of superlatives. He is the Santino. Gary is scary. He hits another home run. And the Yankees have an 8-4 lead. One ball and one strike. Fastball punched on the ground. Utley kicks it. Still plenty of time. Wow! Utley sprawled in the dirt, flipped it back, and accurately to Gonzalez for an out. Oh, what a play. Dansby Swanson cracks one to center field. That ball's well hit. Turner going back. It's over his head, and that's going to ricochet back toward the infield. Dansby's got two. He's on his way to third. They're going to wave him. Here comes the throw to the plate. Dansby Swanson is safe. It's an inside the park home run. His first big league homer and inside the park bomb in Washington. Can you believe that? Here's the 0-1. Story hits it high and deep right field. Way back and it's gone! Three run bomb. Welcome to the big leagues, Trevor Story. How do you like that? I've got goosebumps. Me too. Not gonna lie. Me too. Mom and dad are jumping for joy here at Chase Field. Wow! Beautiful summer night in Southern California from Dodger Stadium. Tonight it's game three of this four game set between the New York Mets and the Los Angeles Dodgers. These two should be exciting to watch go at each other and it's all coming up next. Hyunjin Ryu, a Korean lefty, will be the starter in this one. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, if you look at his numbers, it's not going to blow you away. But he's an important guy to this team. He eats up innings. He continues to keep them in games. And if he gets a little luck along the way, he may walk away with more wins than losses. Now at the plate, Jose Reyes. And as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. Here comes Ryu 0-2. Now a flare out toward right center. Forsyth ranging into shallow right. He tracks it down. A nice running play, and there's one away. And now a chance to meet the Mets. Who's the one to watch, Dan? Matt, I think there's some concern about Michael Conforto right now. He's really struggled in the power category the last 10 games. How about zero home runs? You wouldn't expect that from a guy with the kind of power that he displays. Hopefully, this is the game he turns it around. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera and the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Bases are empty one man out. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high three and two. Weather not much of an issue tonight a mild 65 degrees here at game time. Ground ball sent back up the middle. On the first, and Cabrera's a ground out victim. Two away. Here's the left fielder, Yoenis Cespedes. He's a long ball threat, of course, currently number four in the National League home run race. Full count, here it comes. High in the air out to center field. Gutierrez moves over and the inning is over. Down in order go the Mets. The Dodgers coming up and we are scoreless. Steven Matz, a left-hander from New York State, is the starter on the mound. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey. You don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three. But if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. And now is Yasiel Puig. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Hit hard up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. So the Dodgers get their leadoff hitter on base to kick off the inning. 
Well, this is the recipe they want. Their pitcher comes out, throws a scoreless top of the first, and then you get a leadoff single to start the bottom of the inning. Good start. Now to the plate, Justin Turner. Lifetime numbers against Steven Matz, one for six. Ready with the three and zero, oh. and that one right down Main Street. HR these Mets as they enter play here tonight they are in the midst of a pretty bad stretch as they've dropped six straight coming in well Matt every team's going to go through a losing streak but you got to try to do something that's going to pull you out of it one game at a time is really what you got to think about because if you don't before you know it five games leads to 10 and 10 games leads to 15 and before you know it you're out of it you lost a ton of games in a row and that's through and the left a base hit in quickly with it is Cespedes, and that'll force the runner to hold on at third base. Well, that's Batting a line forward. drive single, but the runner's not going to score. Now, remember, with less than two outs, he had to freeze. Hit it a little bit too hard at the wrong guy. He'll take the hit, but no RBI. Standing in now, Franklin Gutierrez. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Well, right here, he's definitely worked himself into a very difficult situation. He's got the power hitter at the plate, and you got two balls. He's sitting there looking for his pitch to hit. You know he's zeroing in. Well, he had big aspirations behind that swing. Pretty obvious he was trying to put four runs on the board in a hurry. And there's a base hit as that gets through into left. And the run will score as the Dodgers grab the early 1-0 lead. Wow, well, that's a combination of a little bit of speed and luck. He pulls the ball into the hole right there. You're going to drive in that run, and they have no play on you. In now, Adrian Gonzalez. A rare 3-0 curveball drops in, 3-1. and one. Lifetime numbers against Steven Matz. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at-bats. And that is in there at the letters to run it full three and two. That's some pressure pitching right there. Base is loaded. He goes up three and oh. He's now worked it back to three two. Now this is really the payoff pitch. The three two one more time. And another foul ball. He'll try it again three and two. And that misses ball four. A run will come in to score. Man, it's been an absolute nightmare start to the game, and the nightmare continues as he walks in a run here in the first. The wheels are not completely off the bus, but they're definitely wobbling. We'll see if he can limit the damage going forward. So striding forward now, Logan Forsythe, currently with the third best home run total on the ball club. This ball will be chopped foul. 23 pitches already here in the first inning. Swing and a miss, and that's a much-needed first out there. Time now to check out how the hometown Dodgers light up in this one. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Yeah, Matty, you've got to keep an eye on Yasiel Puig. He's having a solid year. With runners in scoring position, he's hitting over 300. That's not outstanding or anything, but he's consistent, and that's what I love watching about this guy. His game is so consistent. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. Here's the one and one pitch. A swing and he pops him up on the infield. And the infield fly rule will be in effect here. Wow, talk about frustrating. Not what you want to do with the bases loaded. A simple pop up and nothing productive comes out of that. Into the box, Scott Van Slyke takes a look down at the knees for a strike. A strike away now from getting out of this mess. Sometimes pitching is all about minimizing, right? So and we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. So they do strike for two, but it could have been much worse as they strand the bases loaded. On to the second now at Dodger Stadium. It's the Dodgers two and the Mets nothing. Now batting, Michael Conforto. 
And a quick glance at the numbers will tell you it's been a huge struggle for him at the plate this year. And he comes back with a pitch right down the middle for strike two. Talk about challenging a guy. He offered up two in a row right down the chute, and the batter didn't even flinch. Got to wonder what he was looking for. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Therefore, it is Gutierrez. One away. Well, let's take a look at the Dodgers defense brought to you by Majestic. In this day and age with analytics and the shift applied all over the field, this team is old school. They may be a dinosaur. They don't shift as much as everybody else. They play that station standard baseball. Here's Neil Walker. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. One out, nobody on. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. Harold, you look at this Dodgers team as they enter play here tonight. They come in riding a five-game winning streak, and they've really got things clicking. Well, Matt, they're playing good ball. If you look at the standings, they got a nice, comfortable lead. But comfortable can be, it can be trouble. You got to stay focused, keep your foot on the pedal, and just continue to put that opponent away because this little lead can dwindle quick. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you're wondering, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? Skied into straightaway right. On the move is Puig. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Batting second. Center fielder number three. Here's the center fielder, Curtis, Curtis Granderson. Granderson. His past history with Hunjin Ryu, one for three. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Hit hard toward first, and that'll go as the Mets' first hit of the ball game. He takes the turn and heads for second, and he'll make it to second base now with two gone. So perhaps some new life in the inning here with a two-out double in the second. As we check out the top Mets in that department, you can currently see he's third best on the ball club. Here's Lucas Duda now. He brings an average in the 260s into this one. The set and the 1-1 one -one pitch. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Ball two. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. Hit out towards second. And that is through into center field. A base hit. Now a long throw home. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Matt, talk about two out lightning. First two guys are retired. Next guy doubles, and then bam, a single to drive in a run. Two out lightning. Into the box now, Rene Rivera. Line drive to center field, and that'll get down for a base hit. Well, he hung that one, and he didn't miss it. That's what you do, hang Nine it ninth. and bang it. Petra. Stephen Matt. Stepping in now. Steven Matz hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Well, you know, giving up three straight hits is bad enough, but now it looks like he's starting to nibble a little bit. It's hard not to when you're getting hit, but you don't want to put yourself in bad counts. Change up, call to strike, and he comes back even at two and two. Ready with the two and two. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. On now to the bottom of the second. It's the Dodgers two and the Mets one. Stepping in, Hyunjin Ryu. He'll lead it off against Steven Matz. 
One and one. Here it comes. Favorable call in there for a strike. Ready to deliver the one and two. And a neck high fastball that time. Grounded to third. Right there is Reyes. And he's retired here one away. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. And the outfield, Curtis Granderson, he can play center field for you, but spent most of his time in right field. Doesn't throw very well, but will charge the ball very aggressively and do a nice job that way. Digging in for his second at bat, Yasiel Puig. He singled his last time up. Ready with the 3 0 pitch. Checked his swing there and pops this one up. And this is taken in by Reyes for out number two. Ready for another chance. Justin Turner. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Takes a high fastball for a strike. He did a nice job of getting two outs before the two hitter came to the plate. Now you got the two hitter at the plate and you start to move to the power. You want to keep as many of those little guys out front off the base before the big boys come up. With the meat of the order due up next, you could probably expect a swing and a miss. That retires the side and that will do it. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. As they're unable to add to their two to one lead. Digging in to try it again. Jose Reyes, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Fastball. Whoa, look out. That just about got him in the coconut. Hey, that's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. In there, and it's even now, 2 and 2. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Van Slyke going back. He gets there, but he missed it. Reyes at full speed. Look at him fly. He's headed for third. And he is in there. So some real problems out there that time as it'll wind up in E7. Stepping in and ready for another shot as Dribble Cabrera as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. And a base hit and that'll get the run in from third. Well, that's a nice hit. We're right back where we started with that RBI base the hit. The game 52. is tied. Yoannis Cespedes. In now, Joanna Cespedes. And this one's in the dirt. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. Two and one now to Cespedes. There goes Cabrera. And this is going to be a foul ball. Nobody out, runner on first. Swing, and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. Here's another 2-2. Drilled right back up the middle. He'll go to the bag for one. Back to Adrian and it's a double play. Good pitch on the ground ball there and an even better job up the middle to take it himself and turn two. Pretty smooth. Standing in now, Michael Conforto. And that's taken for a called strike two. One ball, two strikes. Ready to deliver the one and two. 
foul toward the third base dugout but this will get back into the seats out of play. Now another one two. And he holds off there as the count goes even to the Mets left fielder. It's two and two. Well, I like the pitch idea. It looked like he tried to get in the chase right there, make him think that ball's over the plate and it runs away, but he laid off it. I don't know how, but he did. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Puig to the track, to the wall. Out of here, into the visitors' bullpen. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Fourth home run for him on the season, and it's given the Mets a 3 2 lead. I can tell you one thing you might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues. But when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys, you're going to get exactly what he got a really bad result. Into the box now, Neil Walker. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. The one and two pitch. And this is fouled straight back. He'll try again one two. Again he sends it out of play. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He was fortunate he just fouled it off. Another one sent foul. He's just fouling them off till he gets something he wants to hit. That's a nice job of staying alive. A two strike breaking ball just out of the zone. He was able to put enough on it to get another pitch. And opposite field as he lines this down the line in right. But a good play by the first baseman to spear this one and that'll retire the side. So it's two runs here on two hits with one of them being the home run. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. The Mets lead it three to two. Matt Baskersian back with Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak as the 2016 National League Rookie of the Year Corey Seager settles in to start things out. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. A slider that just grabs the outside corner. Here's the 1-2 and two delivery. That's a foul ball off to the left and it moves to one and two. Here's another one two. Hit hard on the ground to third. Throw by Reyes is right there for the first down. Well it's still early but it's also Better worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you see there he sits in fourth place in that department in the National League. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Now a swing and a ball chop foul right at home plate. Now another 0-2. Got him swinging chased it well out of the zone and there are two gone. It's so hard to hit when you're behind the count 0 and 2 right you have to protect for the fastball you have to look for the soft stuff down and away you're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind 0 and 2. Stepping in now Adrian Gonzalez and a half hearted attempt that time as he broke the plane of the plate it's a ball and two strikes now. Now the pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. And Cabrera will make the catch to retire the side. Curtis Granderson will start things off when we return. Three innings complete. It's the Mets three and the Dodgers two. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Curtis Granderson. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. Here it comes on one and one. 
And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Seems to me like they're pitching him a little bit more cautiously after that double he had his first time up. And Granderson trying to work his way aboard. He's got it to three and one now. He's really been good this game. Around the plate, throwing strikes, hasn't walked anybody. Right now he finds himself a little bit of a hole, but he can battle back. Fastball in there, three and two. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. And this is swung on and missed by Granderson, and that's the first down of the inning. So with that, let's call on the guys in the graphics First department to put up 21. the pitch speed comparison okay. for the two starters. And you can see that both guys are well into the 90s, 95 on one hand and just two miles an hour slower on the other. Striding in once again, Lucas Duda. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. Back up the middle. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one-out hit. Throw into second. And he'll cruise into the bag at second with a one-out double. And he obviously didn't let last night's left. hitless outing get to Catcher. his head too much because that's Running his second Rivera. hit of the ball game. This one, a double. I'm sure he's feeling a lot better about the way he's going right now. Into the box, Rene Rivera. One and two now as this catches the outer half. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Hard hit toward the hole. And that's through into left, a base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. That's a nice control two-strike approach. You cut your swing down, and all you want to do is see the ball and hit it. In now, Stephen Matz. Now a bunt attempt here. No look, he flips it. So they get the out at first, but the run will score on the suicide squeeze. And in the days of three-run homers in nine to eight him. ball games, you Great don't base, see man. the suicide squeeze okay. executed Great. much anymore. But this right here is a textbook example of getting that bunt down and getting the RBI. And now some action in that Dodger bullpen as a left-hander has begun to get loose. Into the box now, Jose Reyes. He gets it hard on the ground to the left. Throw will go to Adrian at first, and with it, the side is retired. Mets played a run on a couple of hits. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Mets four and the Dodgers two. So stepping in, Logan Forsythe comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. And it'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at 2 and 2. And now a pitch on the way. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And he will make the catch while ranging backward as he just put the glove up and hauled it in for the first out. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. We're in the fourth inning of a 4 2 ball game. Hit hard to third. Throw in time at first for route number two. Now batting. Here's Scott Van Slyke. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. This is line to left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning.
Dodgers down in order. Still down by a count of four to two. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. A hit in two tries so far. Some action in the Dodger bullpen now as it appears they have both the lefty and a right-hander up and throwing. And that's high and off the plate, two and one. Ryu now on two and one. Off speed pitch, good for strike two. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip He's on to first to record the out. The left fielder, number 52. Ready once again, Joanna Cespedes. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Gutierrez on the move. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. The right fielder, number 30. Digging in and looking for more, Michael Conforto. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. And that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. Well, there's a little two-out base hit. Maybe start a little two-out rally. Now, he's given up some runs. He's a little now vulnerable. Batting. We've seen him give Second up runs base. already in this game. Neil so maybe this is Walker. a start of something big. Stepping in now, Neil Walker. Nope. Walker no. lays off there. It's two, two balls and a strike. He's certainly giving up plenty of hits in this one. But the funny thing is, he hasn't walked anyone yet. That tells me he's throwing strikes, but he's just not throwing enough quality Eight. strikes. Called strike two. Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt, but he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Hit in the air to right field. Puig's got a read on it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Mets strand one. Says they can't add to their 4-2 lead. Andre Ethier will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 16, Andre Ethier. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Hard on the ground towards short. Taken there by Cabrera. And a good throw gets him one gone. The right fielder number and now is Yasiel Puig. Yasiel he singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One -one. On the ground to the left side. Right there is Reyes. On to first and there were two down. Digging in once again, Justin Turner comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here it comes on 1 and 1. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Cespedes is there. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So nothing happening this time around. Five innings complete. It's the Mets 4 and the Dodgers 2. Adam Liberatore takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 36, Adam Liberatore. Here's the center fielder, Curtis Granderson. One for two with a double on his line thus far. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. A fastball right over the outside corner. All even at two and two. Here it is. Hit down the line at first. Gonzalez has got it, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. 
first baseman number 21. Here's Lucas Duda Lucas. now. He doubled Duda. earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. Now the Dodgers get a right hander up and throwing in their bullpen. Here's the one and one pitch. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. Well, that's a good pitch, but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer, you might get a swing. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Gutierrez is camped under this one, and there's the second out of the inning. Now battle. Catch it. Rene Digging Rivera. in and looking for more, Rene Rivera. Two base hits, both singles to this point. We're in the sixth inning now of a four to two ball game. Hopped up. Turner has got it, and the side is retired. Mets go down one, two, three. But they still lead this one four to two. Here's Corey Seager. He'll get his side started in the inning and dance so far they've been stifled offensively since the first inning. Boy they sure have Matt. They came out of the gates and got hot right away. But whatever was going for them pretty much has disappeared. We'll see if they can wake it back up. Swing and a liner. But this will be a foul ball. Hit hard back up the middle. That gets through, and he'll start the inning off with a base hit. So the leadoff man reaches in their half of the sixth. So make it two hits for him now on the night as this one finds its way into center. And as you can see there on the team leaderboard, he's currently pacing the club here as we approach the midway point of the season. Here's Franklin Gutierrez. He's one for two in the ball game. A runner at first with no outs here. Breaking ball as this runs in on him and he has to step out of the way that time. Well, this isn't how he wanted to start the inning. A leadoff single and then you almost hit the next hitter. Composure. Got to try to get that ball with the plate and maybe get a ground ball. Called strike that time and it's even at two and two. And it looks now like a right hander has begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Drilled on the ground is short and a backhanded try into the hole that's short, but this gets on by. Great recognition. He's looking for a ball up, the breaking ball hung, well, and he stayed with it. When they're up high, Adrian let it fly. When they start out low, you gotta let it go. Now time is called, and this might be to buy a little time for that reliever to get loose. Standing in now, Adrian Gonzalez. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. On the ground is short. This could be two. There's one. Back to first, and Adrian is hit into a double play. Well, there's the pitcher's best friend right there. The inning was now off a rough start, right? But nothing side. changes that Logan. like a good old two Hard ball. Side. We'll see if they can strand the runner at third now. Two runs, five hits, one error in the ball game for the Dodgers to this point. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. He's putting on a little bit of a pitching clinic now. Look, he gives up a single and a single. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. One left for L.A. They trail it here, four to two. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Your Pedro Baez please. is on to now pitch from the bullpen the now to start inning number, number seven. 52, Pedro Baez. Digging in once again, Steven Matz. He's 0 for 1 thus far.
outside two and one. He's set and the two one pitch. Oh and not an easy pitch to lay off of but he did somehow and he's got it to three and one. And he takes a cold strike at the knees and that'll run things full. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Now I know he struck out there but for a pitcher that's a pretty solid at that. Anytime you can make an opposing pitcher out there work and throw quite a few more extra pitches that's a quality A.B. in my book. Four runs eight hits and no errors on the Mets line score so far. And this is fouled back and out of play. He's in the palm of your hand. The 0 2 once more. Oh, A little bit down. off the outside, it's 1 and 2. Woo. Here's a high pop up. Gonzalez is there for it. And that's the second out of the inning. The shortstop, number 13. Digging in to try it again. As Drupal Cabrera. He was a ground out victim last time up. Here's the pitch. Check swing. No swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Takes a knee high fastball. Seventh inning here at the ballpark. 4-2 our score. Hit hard on the ground to second. Taken in by Forsythe. Throw on to the first baseman. Gonzalez will take care of him, and the inning is over. Ladies Down in order go the Mets. The as they can't add to their 4-2 lead. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Action in the Mets' bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right hander that start to throw. In there, two and two. Well, he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked a guy up with it. Squared that one up just a little late. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Conforto giving chase. He tracks it down. A nice running play, and there's one away. Here's Scott Van Slyke. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. One and one, here it comes. And he misses two and one. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty, but hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Two and two count, here it comes. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Another try at two two. Rounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Hit sharply on the ground, and that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. Well, that wasn't a very good pitch to hit, but there's a lot of hits up the middle. Dropped the bat head on it, stayed with it, and just took it back up the box. Pedro Baez. Trace Thompson will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 21, Trace Thompson. Runners on first with one down. Addison Reed enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. It's on the ground a second. Did he get his double play? Throw gets him. Two down. The 
right fielder number 66. In now is Yasiel, Yasiel Puig. Puig. And with men on base and two away, it feels like this at bat could go a long way toward deciding this thing. No doubt, Matt. A base hit here changes this game quite a bit. But if they can't score here, it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Conforto moves over, and that retires the side. Dodgers leave one, still down by a count of four to two. Yumi Garcia has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eight. Number 63, Yumi Garcia. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Espedes. 0 for 3 to this point. Yeah, not his game so far. He's such a good hitter. We all kind of expect him to pick up two or three hits most of the time. That's not really how baseball works, though. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Oh, that's okay. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Two and one now to Cespedes. And, ooh, he's really given some leeway on the outside edge here. Two and two now. Two two pitches lofted in the air out to right field. Puig's got a read on it. He's got it one away. The right fielder number 30. Michael Conforto will stride in again. And before he takes his cuts here, let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going. Ready with two balls and a strike. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Look out! A fastball up near his dome, and that'll wake you up a bit. He went deep earlier, so that might have been a little bit of a message they were trying to send to get him off the plate. At the very least, they're clearly trying to get him from getting his arms extended again. Another payoff pitch. And this is swung on and missed. Two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. Now batting. Ready for another shot now. Neil Walker. He flew out in his last at bat. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Leaves a change up high for a strike. All even at two and two. Here it is. Okay. And that misses, so it's a full count three and two. Crowd gets up for the three two. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Puig looking up, and that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. A solo home run here for Neil Walker number 11 for him on the season and just like that it's now a 5 2 ball game. Every run helps late in the game and with this one on the board they're now up three and only need six outs to end it. They've got a little room for error and I'm sure they'd like to add to that even more if they can. In is Curtis Granderson and Dan after that home run it looks like they might be able to end this losing streak that they've been mired in. Yeah and a win at this level feels really good especially when it's been a while. They're on their way if they can play well the rest of the game. The 0 2 delivery and a slider gets away from him here as it just about got him in the ankle. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. Oh hold on what a stop. What a play. Three thumbs up here in the booth following this gorgeous play at second base. The three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Justin Turner career history with Addison Reed one for three hitters count now. Here's the two and one sharp ground ball to third. 
Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. 5-2 our score as we get a look inside the numbers. It's our starter comparison for the two gentlemen that took the hill to start the ball game. Here's Corey Seager. Two hits and three at-bats for him in this one. Now the pitch. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Smoke toward the hole. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. Well, that's his third hit of the night. And are you surprised? That's three singles. Now six, three for four with three singles. Not bad night. Gutierrez. In now, Franklin Gutierrez. He grounds it sharply to third. To Walker for one. Back to Duda. A double play, and the inning is over. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. The three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this. Nighttime shot of the sprawling city of Los Angeles. We're back with baseball on the show. Sergio Romo enters the from the pen to start the ninth Number inning 54. as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Ready once again, Lucas Duda. And he will not be seeing the usual suspect to close this game out as he's been given the day off by his manager to get a little rest. Yeah, he's worked a few days in a row, Matt. So we were told before the game by the skipper he wanted to avoid using him if possible. So that means they will look to close this thing out without him. Two one here it is. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Smoke on the ground, left side. Oh, look at Turner. Got him. Now batting, catcher, Rene Rivera. Ready for another chance? Rene Rivera is looking for hit number three here in this at bat. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Hit to third. Throw on to Gonzalez, and that's out number two. Now batting, the pitcher, Anderson Reed. T.J. Rivera will get the call here Vincent as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 54, T.J. Rivera. Two out, nobody on. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. So the top of the ninth keeps a rolling as he comes through with two away. Third well, he rolled over that seven. one. Not the most impressive Jose single, Reyes. but it's a line drive in the books. Into the box, Jose Reyes. Fastball called strike. One and two. Two out with the man at first. In the dirt here. Come on. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. Wait. 
reached for and popped into the air back behind second. Forsyth is there and the side is retired. Mets leave one and it remains five to two. You're Jerry Spamilia takes the now ball now in inning number York nine Mets. looking to close number the door. Here's Adrian now. 0 for 2 with a run batted in for him thus far. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this will land foul just shy of the wall. Sinker. 3 and 2 now. shot on the ground is short Cabrera's up with it and he set down one away up next for the Dodgers striding in once fight. again Logan Forsythe over three with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away bases are empty one man out The next 0-2 misses, and that'll move it to one and two now. Wow, that's a tough pitch to lay off right there. You're down 0-2. You're in protect mode. You want to chase that ball. Nice layoff. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter. And it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point, but that's what they've done to this guy so far. Stepping in now. Yosmani Grandal. Now that's popped up. And he'll put this one away for the final out. And the Mets have finally found their way back into the win column as this ball game is over. Hey, a nice win for them all around. And an even better way to start things off on the first day of summer when every team looks ready to get on a roll. 5-2 the final score tonight. Steven Matz earned his ninth win of the year. Jerry Spamilia wraps it up for the save his 18th. So that'll just about do it. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out the shownation.com. Final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Five runs, ten hits, no errors. High fly ball, well tagged this time, and Junior going back to the track. The wall makes the leap and makes the catch. Amazing catch by Junior as he takes a home run away from Luis Gonzalez. My, oh my! Perfect timing and Junior receiving. Standing ovation here.